Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 19th day of May Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is minimum moves to equal array elements to. So the input given here is an integer array nums and we have to return the number of minimum operations needed to make all the elements equal in the given array. And the rules to make the elements equal are we can either increment or decrement an element by one. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given example. The operations we can perform is either we can add an element by one or subtract any element by one. So in this case, if we add one to our first element, which will become two, two and three. So now two elements are equal. In that case, we have to reduce one at the last element. So in that case, if you subtract one, then it will become two, two, two. Now our array has become all twos and we have used total two number of operations to make them all equal. That is going to be our output. So how are we going to approach this problem? So if you remember one of our previous videos, minimum operations to make array equal. So this problem also going to follow quite the same approach we have used in that video. So consider this example array. If you are trying to make 1 to 9 and 3 to 9 and 5 to 9, in this case, 1 to 9 itself is going to take 8 operations because you have to add 1 for each time. Same way, 3 to 9 is going to take 6 and 5 to 9 is going to take 4 and 7 to 9 is going to take 2. Same way, if you are trying to make all the elements from 9 to 1 or 7 to 1 and 5 to 1, which is again going to take same number of operations. So what would be the optimal approach? So the optimal number of operations is bringing up the lesser elements to median and bringing down the higher elements to medium. So we are going to have a median value and we are going to bring up all the lesser values to mid and higher values to mid by adding ones in the previous values and subtracting ones in the higher values. So once we add values and subtract values from both the ends, all of the elements in this array is going to become 5 and the minimum number of moves to make this array equal is going to be 12. So if you observe the steps we have done, the first step is to sort the array so that we will identify what is the median value for this particular array so that we will bring down all the values equally to the median. So once sorting is done, we need to find the number of operations to make all the elements to median value. You can do this in two methods. The first method is subtracting the difference, the absolute difference between 5 and 1 and 3 and 1 will give you 4 and 2. In same way, making the difference between 5 and 7 and 5 and 9 would give you 2 and 4. So that once we find the absolute difference or the difference between all the values with the median, you will find the number of steps actually needed to get our equal array. So this is method one. This will work only if you have a median value available in your array or you can find a median value. So second method is nothing but if you are bringing a lesser value to some level and higher value down to some level, it requires a set of operations that is going to satisfy or get us to five. So in this case, the total number of operations to make the edge value up and the end value down will be subtracting these two values which is 9 minus 1 will actually take you 8 steps to reach 5. So here you need 4 steps and here you, you need another 4 steps to reach 5. Same way negotiating these edges move one step forward and take the value 3 and 7. The difference between 7 and 3 is actually 4 which will take overall 4 steps to make both of them 5. So it is nothing but if you add two steps or add two, you will get five. The same way if you subtract two, that is doing two more steps will bring seven to five. So overall it is going to take four steps, which is nothing but seven minus three. So this method is going to work if you have array of length, even, even size. So in that case, you won't have a median or if you have a different set of numbers, you don't have to really calculate the median value and subtract every value from the array with the median value. Instead, you can subtract the difference between every edge values to get the number of steps needed. 
So to prove you that the second method works, consider another example which is actually given in the problem statement where the array was not sorted. I have already sorted the given array and we don't have a median value. If suppose you want to bring down the values to median value, 10 plus 1 by 2 will actually give you 5. So again, the median value for this array is 5. So we are going to bring down all the values to 5 so that we will get the minimum moves to e make them equal. So in this case, to make them all 5, you need this number of operations so that it will become 5. So now, if you are trying to calculate, again, using the method 1, you have to find the absolute difference between 5 and 1 and 5 and 2, 5 and 9 and 5 and 10 and adding that would actually give you 16. Same way, if you don't want to calculate the median value and subtract each value again, you can easily follow the method 2. So the difference between 10 and 1 is going to be 5 plus 4 which is 9 and the difference between 9 and 2 is going to be 7 which is nothing but 3 operations to make 2 to 5 and 4 operations to make 9 to 5 and overall it is going to make 7. So by using the simple technique you will again reach your value that is 7 plus 9 equal to 16. So once you find the median and again find the difference between each it is going to take sorting log in time and again one more iteration of n twice. So that is going to take n square log in time. By using the method 2 you take log in to sort the given array and we are going to iterate the given array to half and find the differences. So it is overall going to take n log in time which actually reduced time from the method 1. So hope you are understanding the solution. Let's go to the coding part. So yes, as I said, the first step is to sort the given array. So once sorted, I'm going to have two pointers, i is equal to 0 and j starts from the last element of the array. And let me declare a variable result which is going to count the number of steps. And let us iterate the pointers till they both meet the median or the middle element. So our result is going to be the difference between the edge values. And every time we calculated the difference, we are going to move the pointers. Yes, that's it. And finally, our result is going to hold the number of minimum steps needed to make them equal. So finally, return result. So yes, that's it. Let's run and try. Yes, let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted and runs in 2 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked the video. If you like, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.